Camping has always been my escape from the noisy city life, a chance to be alone with nature. But one summer, my peaceful camping trip turned into a heart-pounding adventure I'll never forget. I had chosen a remote spot deep in the forest, far from civilization. The woods were lush, and the air was filled with the scent of pine and wildflowers. As the sun dipped below the horizon, I built a campfire and sat down to enjoy the tranquility. But as darkness settled in, I heard a distant, haunting sound. It was a chorus of eerie howls, and my heart started to race. I knew that sound. It was the unmistakable call of wolves. I had heard stories about them in these woods, but I never thought I'd encounter a pack. I quickly gathered my essentials and climbed a nearby tree, my heart pounding in my chest. From my perch, I could see a group of wolves emerge from the shadows. Their eyes glinted like cold steel in the moonlight, and they moved silently through the underbrush. I realized that my campfire had attracted them, and I had to stay hidden. The wolves sniffed the air and circled my campsite, their noses pointed in my direction. Panic set in as I realized that I was a lone intruder in their territory. I knew I had to remain perfectly still and silent, not giving them any reason to investigate the tree I was hiding in. Time passed agonizingly slow as I watched the wolves. They seemed curious but not overly aggressive. I couldn't help but admire their majestic, yet intimidating presence. One by one, they eventually lost interest and retreated into the darkness. I waited for what felt like an eternity before I dared to climb down from my refuge. I decided it was best to pack up and leave, rather than risk another encounter with the wolves. With trembling hands, I extinguished the campfire and carefully made my way back through the dark forest. The entire journey back to my car, every rustling leaf and snapping twig made me jump. I couldn't shake the feeling that the wolves were still watching, their glowing eyes hidden in the shadows. When I finally reached my vehicle and started the engine, relief washed over me. I had survived a close encounter with a pack of wild wolves, a night that had taken my peaceful camping trip and turned it into a heart-pounding adventure. As I drove away, I couldn't help but feel a mix of fear and awe for the untamed beauty of the wilderness and the creatures that call it home. It was an autumn morning when I decided to go camping by myself in the very old woods. I was feeling a mix of being excited and scared at the same time. I left the known path behind and went deep into the forest where people didn't go anymore. The tall trees made long shadows and there was no noise except for the sounds my feet made on the leaves. I found a little open space to set up my camp. While I was doing that, I started to feel like someone was watching me. But I thought it was just my mind making things up, so I didn't pay too much attention. I focused on lighting up my campfire. The night came fast, and the woods got really dark. The forest started to make weird sounds. An owl was hooting far away, and the leaves were talking to the wind. I got into my warm sleeping bag and looked up at the stars through the tree branches. Then, something happened that made my heart race. A scary howl came from somewhere in the woods. It made me really nervous. I thought, maybe it's just an animal. But the howling kept going, and I started to doubt that idea. I grabbed my flashlight the only thing that gave me comfort in the dark. I listened carefully to the sounds around me. It felt like the forest was getting closer, like it was trying to trap me. All of a sudden, a shadowy person came out from the bushes. This person looked messy and wild, with crazy eyes. He was mumbling and getting closer to me. My heart was beating super fast, and I had to make a quick decision. Should I stay and face this stranger or run away into the dark woods? I didn't think too long. I ran as fast as I could through the trees. I was guided by the light of my flashlight and the feeling of fear. The forest was like a maze, and I had to dodge branches and thorns. The stranger's scary howling was following me, making me run even faster. I ran until I was tired, and my chest hurt from breathing so hard. Finally, I found a road, and I could hear a car coming. 
I waved my flashlight to make the car stop. I was trembling, but I told the driver what had happened. The driver called the police, and they came and caught the strange person who had been in the woods. Sitting in the safety of the police car, I realized that my camping trip had turned into something really scary. Those old woods had secrets I never knew about, and I was lucky to get out of there. I will always remember the night I camped alone in the woods, and I'll never forget the scary person I met there. Long ago, I went camping by a peaceful, quiet lake. It was a beautiful spot, surrounded by tall trees and the soothing sounds of nature. I set up my campsite near the water's edge, and everything seemed just perfect. The day was bright and sunny, and the lake's water sparkled like diamonds. As the day turned into night, the stars in the sky began to twinkle, and the world around me grew dark. I lit a campfire and sat by its warm, comforting light. The night was so calm that I could hear the water gently lapping at the shore. It was the kind of peaceful night that makes you feel connected to the world. But then, something strange happened. Out of the stillness of the night, a strange noise began to emerge. It sounded like something emerging from the water, like a slow, slithering motion. I thought it might be a beaver or an otter, the kind of animals you might expect to find near a lake. Curiosity got the better of me, and I reached for my small, trusty flashlight. With the flashlight in hand, I approached the edge of the water. The sound was getting closer, and my heart started to beat faster. I wanted to see what kind of creature was lurking in the darkness. The light cut through the night, and my eyes widened as I saw what was there. It wasn't a beaver or an otter. No, it was something entirely different. It was a creature with a long, serpentine body, like a snake, but not like any snake I'd ever seen. Its scales were dark and glistened in the moonlight. But what caught my attention the most were its eyes. The eyes were unlike anything I had ever seen on an animal. They were not like regular animal eyes. They were human-like, but there was something eerie about them. They glowed with an otherworldly light, like they held the secrets of the universe. I couldn't move, and the creature just watched me with those strange, glowing eyes. It felt like time had stopped, and we were locked in a silent, strange connection. I couldn't tell if the creature was dangerous or friendly, but those eyes held a certain wisdom that was beyond my understanding. As I continued to stare, I realized that this creature was like no other I had ever encountered. It seemed ancient, like it had been a part of the lake for centuries. I couldn't break away from its gaze, and for a moment, it felt like we were communicating on a level that went beyond words. But then, I noticed the creature slowly starting to move, still maintaining eye contact. It slithered toward me, and my instincts kicked in. I had to make a choice, stay and confront this mysterious being or flee into the darkness. I took a step back, my heart pounding. The creature, with its strange, glowing eyes, didn't follow. It seemed to understand my need to retreat. As I moved further away from the lake, the creature slipped back into the water, disappearing beneath the surface. The night was silent again, and I was left with the memory of those mesmerizing, otherworldly eyes. I packed up my things, my heart still racing, and left the campsite behind, feeling like I had glimpsed something beyond the ordinary. To this day, when I close my eyes I can still see those mysterious eyes in the darkness, and I wonder about the secrets that creature held beneath the lake's surface. It was a night that made me question the boundaries of our world and the mysteries that lie hidden in the depths of the wilderness. <laughs>